Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, Sonic 06 LP. In part two, we just entered uh, Tropical Jungle. You mean to tell me there's more? <laughs> oh yeah, I hope you guys like Silver. Because <laughs> he's the whole first part of this. Wow, this is super weird. I can't believe Sega put uh, Nintendo ads into their into their game. Oh wait, that's YouTube. Holy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. YouTube just gave us Nintendo ads. It's really oh, see, weird. I got I got The Sims, so that joke TJ doesn't work for me. Maybe you should make your jokes more inclusive, TJ. <laughs> That's okay. You got the gist of it. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, that kid's awesome. Love that kid. So this game, I forget, um, because I, I I never owned one. What year did the 360 come out? Oh five, uh, November oh okay, five. So Okay, so this was like, you know, so this game was released in the first year of its lifespan. Again, having never had one, would... Uh, I think, Chris, you, you had a 360? Am I correct in believing that? I got one later on, yeah. Okay. Is that right? I, th thought the, I thought the 360 came out in 06. No, PS3 oh. came out in 06. 360 had a year gap. Oh. Early. Oh. Kind of like the Wii U. Uh, so, for this being a relatively early release for that, would you say... This, this looked good for the time. Nope. Uh, yeah. I mean, it didn't look bad. Um, the main things that kind of made it a laughing stock, you know, visually were the uh, copious amounts of slowdown. Like, it doesn't look good enough or do anything to justify that slowdown, so that's kind of puts it a lot behind games at this time. Like, it wasn't really far behind, it just didn't look too great compared to them either. So, I, I will admit. This game almost made me buy this generation of consoles. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. You mean like recently or back then? <laughs> no, like back then, because okay. like, two weeks ago. Because that was one. <laughs> that was uh when I was really into Sonic games, and I was like, I was like, oh, a new Sonic game. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to mix up the terms uh, graphics and art direction. I think the art direction of this game is fucking terrible. But I mean, like in terms of graphics, it's it's better than. All the other Sonic games before this, so I'll give you that. Well, to be fair, it, it is it is it was the first um, Sonic game to run on a console of this power. Yeah. So in in that, in that regard, it being better than the ever doesn't really mean much. No. It was the first one. It doesn't mean much. Oh my God! Here we go. <laughs> 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 Not look at that physics. Oh, the Havoc engine. Oh. Wow, it's good. It's, look, oh, look at how they disappear. Yeah. Just like in real life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stop it. Breaking down walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Way. The Havoc engine. Classic FTCR <laughs> there. I will say, as much as I don't like some of the character proportions, um, I do prefer the way these models look compared to the last few Sonic games that have come out. That shininess that was going on with Heroes and Shadow, I, to this mm. day, that still bothers me. Oh, mm. I love that yeah. stuff. Oh, I'm sure you do, I, you TJ. Know, you love everything you know, we hate. <laughs> you know what, Chris? I I didn't mind it in Heroes, because it, it kind of worked for Heroes. Mm. But it's, the shininess is completely out of place in Shadow, where that game is just going for, like, you know, cringe levels of darkness. <laughs> That's fair, yeah, yeah. That, the fact that all oh, the characters are super shiny looks terrible. But that, that is one thing I remember playing Heroes in Shadow, and my thing was just, like, I miss the, uh, the texture of SA2. You know, that the character, you know, they look, it wasn't, it, it's for not one second did they look realistic, but you could tell they had actual kind of semi furish mm. texture to them. They mm. looked fuzzy. Yeah. Because it was on the Dreamcast. <laughs> Good old fuzz engine. <laughs> the fuzz engine. <laughs> Is there a hot fuzz engine? Because I love that movie. Yeah, boy. Pe it was Peach Fuzz Engine. <laughs> oh, Lord. I always thought it was bullshit that you can't just pick up the robots. You have to, like, yeah, like, uh, stun him. Fire, like, shit them. Yeah, like you can't just like pick them up. Where he can, he can pick up like giant boulders, but he can't pick up a stupid ass robot. Cause they're alive. You can pick up robots if you stun them, but I didn't know that at this point in time. Oh, is that also part of his powers that he can go invisible periodically? <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone. No, you say TJ. I'm gonna spoil something for you. They, there's literally no, Amy no spoilers. Power. That is, uh, fuck it, fuck you, I'm gonna spoil it for you. Nope. That is literally Amy la, la, Rose's la, la, power la, la, in this la, la, game. La. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just like to think that whoever designed these robots, I think these are Eggman's, I can't tell because they're so generic they looking. Okay, I like yeah. to think that Eggman sat down and was like, I gotta put anti-ESP technology on these so they can't be immediately grabbed, just in case. 
there's just ESP. in case a certain hedgehog from the future <laughs> that I know nothing about shows up. Just in case. Oh my god. Eggman and Silver never interact in this entire game, except at the very end, I guess. So. <laughs> uh, Eggman's just like, oh god, another one. Fuck. Yeah, I bet he's just like looking at Silver like, you Who know. the I, fuck is this Autobot? I don't know where I am. Is this Sonic's brother? I don't know who I'm that is. I'm cold and hungry. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Get me down from here. <laughs> I stole the hedgehog from the future. That's fair. Hold on, let's see where this is going. <laughs> so I read something online that said that someone from the future actually came to Sega and they were like, okay, look. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look. <laughs> No, no, God. they gave them the inspiration for this game, and Sega oh. was like, let's see where this is going. I was thinking Back to the Future, like, it's your future games, we gotta do we something about them. We were gonna, we were gonna make Sonic Adventure 3, but this sounds great. It's, it's, it's your games, UG. You guess something's gonna be done about your games. Oh, I guess I'll just quit and make pro. What, is our fan base a bunch of assholes or something? <laughs> Points. Points, TJ, yes. <laughs> Oh, Steven, you ran into him and got hurt. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, hold on. So so we established in the first part that rings pop out immediately because it was the future. Does that also carry over because silver's from the future? Because I don't think present Earth has those ring physics. So... Yes. Thank you. Oh, Steven, you did it. Hooray! It only took you six minutes. That's good for this game. Yeah. Especially for not knowing what I'm doing. Uh, good old Ash Frank. <laughs> this game's great. I can't believe you can go from B to S rank. What are you talking about? I don't get it. Uh, the BS rank, my favorite. I don't either. I got an S. Oh. This is the past. <laughs> oh, these buildings. Wow. Chris, in a second, you're going to find out where these buildings are. <gasps> they make no fucking sense where they are. Are they up on that random fucking thing with no way to get up to it? <laughs> yes, they're up on a large <laughs> rock with no way to get up. The people are just trapped there. It's like, I guess we have to make a civilization. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Pixar got the inspiration for Up. Those houses were put there by balloons and no one can get up there again. <laughs> Time to go to the grocery store. I the guess only so. way up is to go up this treacherously tall thing with booster pads pointing you back down. Who <laughs> stacks? Who stacks? Does Uber do helicopters? <laughs> I need a lift. <laughs> they do now. Does Uber do helicopters? There's no point in all these enemies. You just run by them. Oh, but Steven, you gotta time. get a score. I don't need scores. I get S's, man. <laughs> Steven's just that good. S's all day. Why can't I hold all these S's? <laughs> What? Why are you able to run into a star pose? <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, you know what makes even less sense? Grinding in high heels. How does that work? Um, excuse you? <laughs> I mean, have you tried it? Oh my god. <laughs> Those Roar, Steven, make that awful. Steven, the best thing was you could see the outline of the fucking smoke thing you used. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Blaze, uh, a lot of people would argue Blaze is the best character in this game because she's essentially Sonic but with fire powers, which makes her better. 420 Blaze it. And she can double jump. And you can double jump. Mm -hmm. Which you really need in this game. <laughs> okay, what is it with whales? Oh my god. <laughs> Let it go, it, it Sega. Oh, I love Emerald Coast. It worked really well in Emerald Coast and Sega were like, yeah, we, we can do that again. Everybody likes we the whales. Remember that time this sold a console? Yeah. We noticed a lot of people online talking about the whales. <laughs> Market research said more whales are good. People are always saying, save the whales. Big hit with the millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Big hit with the millennials. Oh, and Steven, you got another S ready? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure did. <laughs> double S. Double S. You got a double S, Steven. <laughs> Oh shit, it's the beginning of the game! <laughs> well, welcome to part one, everyone, of the Sonic 06 Let's Play. Uh, 
yep, this was, you know, a little um, off off the point fact. The uh, the CG for this game and um, Shadow was done by a company called uh, Square Blur Enix. Studios. <laughs> What's the Blur Studios and its founder, Tim Miller, uh, who directed all these cutscenes, uh, directed a little known movie you might have heard of, Deadpool. Oh, oh. wow. Is this the CG for the next Nights in the Dreams game? No, Chris, because people would actually will play this game. <laughs> did, Blur, did Blur Studios... Oh! <laughs> Did Blur Studios eventually become VE? No, I, I don't believe so, no. Oh, okay. Because I, I believe Blur is still a studio. I think uh, I think after after X amount of games, Sega were just like, let's make our own studio. Um. Yeah, they're still around, Blur is. Yeah. Poor Blue Blur. And of course, we have uh, the, the one and only kind of Hollywood actor to ever be in the Sonic game, Lacey Chabert. Most people probably know her from things like uh, Mingo's or... Family Guy uh, Funny Moments Season 1. Uh, she Meg Griffin in, in Season 1 of Family Guy. She's uh, She was Gwen Stacy in uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. <gasps> before she and that show were dead. Um, and the, originally, though, originally it was um, Veronica Taylor, voice uh, original voice of act, actress of Ask Ketchum, uh, voiced Princess Lace. Oh, I didn't know that. There's other Hollywood voice actors like Jason Griffith. Adam Carrollson. <laughs> Adam Carrollson, Jay Griff. <laughs> if Chris didn't know that fact, I'm pretty sure it's bullshit. Gareth just made it up. <laughs> Which fact? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> the entire playthrough. <laughs> uh, this is a nice looking cutscene, though. This is like this mm -hmm. is you know one of one of the only good things about the game is is the music, which I'm sure we'll get to at some point, and the CG. Like the in-game cutscenes look like shit, but the CG is fantastic. And this was the first time that Eggman, like, got a theme that stays around for a long time. Yep, introducing this, they reused it in uh, Unleashed and Colors. Unfortunately, it has not returned since. I actually asked, though, um, Tommy Otani about that, and he said, maybe we'll bring it back one day, maybe we won't, I don't know, get out of my house. <laughs> Where's his goggles? I don't, uh, I don't the understand. Game. I, I will say I love <laughs> I fucking it? love this this moment you can't do this in the game so cool this moment does uh, that's a plot hole which makes no sense later on but this this scene is so cool I love this piece of music mm -hmm. cutscene Sonic appears it's fucking brilliant this was the first soundtrack Otani uh, directed right yeah first soundtrack he, uh, mm. he, had, he had been composing music since SA2 yeah. This was the first time he was in charge. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> this just further proves that everybody in Sonic's world is an idiot. The news gets it wrong. Amy gets it wrong. Elise gets it wrong. How do you not know what Sonic looks like? <laughs> Steven, do you remember when I showed you uh, the the demo of this? We had like temp music, and it didn't it didn't have Lacey Chabert voice in the leash, and the uh, temp actress when Sonic picks her up makes a very, shall we say, excitable little noise. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's like, oh! It's like, yeah, she's, she's gonna get some. If Sonic's moving that fast, shouldn't he be supporting her neck? <laughs> 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 this is, is the big the big disconnect between the um, in-game cutscenes and the CG ones. Sonic's model doesn't even look like the same. Yeah, it looks way better in a CG scene. Yeah. What is with that fucking purple force field? <laughs> He's moving so fast. <laughs> but you know, Sonic Sonic looks way too fucking big in this game, and that's just so he could carry Elise. Like, he's not supposed to be that big. No. His, his One of his eyes is as big as her face. <laughs> Yeah, not to not to not to put it put it too uh, crashly, but um, he could let's just say intensely pleasure her using just his nose. Well, this that's how fucked up. <laughs> yep, that's how fucked up the anatomy differences in this game are. It doesn't make any sense. Yikes! Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is at a rocky ten years. DJ, what do you what do you think about hyper realistic Eggman? Oh, I hate hyper realistic Eggman because he doesn't have any goggles. <laughs> he gets them later, don't worry. I think. This is this is where Sonic proves what a great hero he is. He just watches as Eggman very slowly flies away. Here's a question, TJ. Do you like the HD egg carrier? I didn't like the egg carrier in Sonic Adventure, so why would I like it here? Really? Oh, that's right, you like SA2, so you're wrong about everything. I forgot, sorry. Uh, my man. Watch the great Sonic Adventure to be so cool. <laughs> You already said that! <laughs> what? 
Why must why must mommy and daddy fight? <laughs> it's like oh, fucking no. stupid. Amy. <laughs> do you think is... do you think Amy ever like looks in the mirror and she's like, "Oh, hi Sonic." <laughs> I like I like the idea that um Silver is just really bad at talking to girls. So when Amy was <laughs> yeah. hugging him, he's just like, oh, "I don't know." That's pretty much Silver the Hedgehog. Yeah, I like I like the fact that Amy's model. She had a she was burying her her head in her hands while her eyes were open. It's very awkward. It looks very, looks very painful. Know, right? <laughs> it's weird because I actually think Amy looks pretty okay in this game, but then some of the characters just what? Oh. oh yeah, you think you think Amy looks all right? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> So, Chris, I, I hear you like modern Amy. <laughs> I do like modern Amy. I will say, I, one of the things I greatly hate about the character designs in this game is everyone's hands are fucking massive. Yeah. And it, it's, it's, it's a real, it's a pet peeve of mine with, with Sonic designs. I hate when the hands are stupidly big. You know what big hands <laughs> means? Ah, oh, shit, fam. It's one of the best scenes in the game. Wow, we got two CG scenes in one part. Yeah. This is pretty, again, you can't do, I, 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 Steve, Steve, I hope we get that, you can't do this in the game. <gasps> yeah, yes. my boy knows, you can't do any of this in the game. It's my favorite character in Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's the second most important, important character in the canon. Charmy B! Listen, listen to the, the, the line delivery from this guy. When he, when he says we expect an immediate rescue, shout the hedgehog. It's so awkward, it sounds like he's saying we expect an immediate rescue. And then just says shout hedgehog for no reason. Like the voice directing in this game is terrible. <laughs> just 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 say the character name. <laughs> just do it. That wacky wascally egg man. So Shadow was able to get here. How come Sonic's not here? Why didn't he chase the egg carrier to come and to get Elise? Um why, why, why didn't Sonic come Be to get uh, the princess? Sonic 06 is a, a equal representation game where everybody gets to be the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Even you! <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta help us! And you gotta help us! Oh. Steven, was this your first time as Shadow, too, or...? Uh, no, I played this level before as Shadow, but uh, other than that, mm. for some reason they really gimped Shadow speed in this game. Yeah, I hate it. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not sure why. I mean, like, okay, everyone's slow, but at least like Sonic is still somewhat fast. Shadow is just like he's almost as slow as Silver. I don't believe it. He's like an in between, sort of. I'd say he's twice as fast as Silver, but that's not really saying much. <laughs> His, I can't believe this. And Shadow's gimmick is they, they bring back uh, vehicles from his, his solo game, which is probably the worst aspect of that game, but say, like, we have to do something. Oh, and and the vehicles the vehicles have guns, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that portal made sense. We got out of the base, but security yeah. You can play as Rouge, too? It's Sonic Adventure 3, TJ. This game is amazing! <laughs> This you is... know I never un my god, oh my god, look how bad that is. You know it, it gets makes worse. No it gets oh worse. God. <laughs> I go back just to show you. <laughs> oh my god. At least we're knuckles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's time four, okay. At least at least when uh like knuckles climbs up walls it's because normally it's because he you know he uses his, his knuckles to climb up the wall even though in this game he doesn't. But like what how, how can Rouge climb up? Willpower. I think it's supposed to be her boots. <laughs> Second half, you're gonna say her boobs. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I said Jesus, boobs. TJ. Gravity the flying cleavage. Go now. You know, I, I really like how this game has all those enemies that you have to s completely skip, not deal with. <laughs> Shadow, why you? I think, I think at this point in time, that's what the fan base just says all the time. Shadow, why you? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Oh, a direct request. A direct request from the president himself. Oh god, vehicle. Steve, just get the car. Just get the fucking car. Get it I over was... with. Yeah, well, I didn't exactly remember what I was supposed to be doing. So. <laughs> you get to drive in this game? 
<laughs> so there we go. Bye, car. <laughs> you can't flip the cars back over. I'll let you know. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not. You're not silver. You're not the master chief. <laughs> Even though in, in the Shadows game, there's moments where he flips a bus up using one hand. Oh, yeah. I, I think he could lift up that car. No problem. I think this game is bullshit. Got these searchlights. Oh. I disagree. I think this game is a game. It's not It's not a bull fecal matter, as you, as you <laughs> said. No, that's just your opinion, T-Bay. You can't put it... You can't put bull fecal matter into a console, Gareth. Watch me. Here you have, it's called SA2. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I, li I like how Shadow makes that motion, like reappearance, where they're like, I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna turn this car around. <laughs> oh, guys, by the way, the controls. Oh, good. I, I'm glad how I went right through that and didn't get it. <laughs> I, um. <laughs> The controls oh, no. for this car are terrible. You press X to go and circle to brake slash go backwards. Oh, no. <laughs> Down I go. But um please get in the other car. <laughs> I don't. Um but what's it's like <laughs> You're supposed to use missiles, but I didn't know I had missiles. So I'm, I'm <laughs> just try to <through. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So basically, you have to use the bumpers to turn the camera instead of drive the car. Ew. Which is really annoying, and it kept confusing me the whole time. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got back in it as it was falling down. Time to go find another one. I can only imagine Shadow's car insurance. Oh. This well, race must be cars... awful. Aren't all these cars Eggman's? Because he went back into Eggman's base. Yeah, aren't they gun labeled? Why are they here? I'm fairly certain that you wrecked five cars yesterday. I, I, you're uninsurable. <laughs> <laughs> In one day! He should, he should call Progressive. That's where Sonic gets his insurance. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I struggled so hard to keep that afloat. <laughs> oh, I guess these aren't gun branded. Yeah, I guess they're Eggman's. Weird. Yeah, but be. they're painted like Shadow. One day Shadow may come into my base and paint this because. You I'll never see in Eggman in a car though. Like he's always in his egg pod. I would fucking love just a scene of Eggman riding one of these. Eggman just goes joyriding around White Acropolis in his spare time. But well, he flips the car over and he can't flip it back over. That the, that that's why there's six of him. <laughs> <laughs> it still is another. <laughs> Guys, when he goes, when he becomes the ruler of all time and space, him and Elise will go go karting. <laughs> Su Super Eggman God. <laughs> oh, that was the objective. You just had to get up there. No, I had to destroy all the towers oh. of, of light. Yes, that, was all right. Th that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Bye. <laughs>